Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Um, our scripture reading will be taken from John chapter 8, verses 1 through 11, and then we'll read from verses 31 to 36 as well. We'll read as you follow. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Then the scribes and Pharisees brought to him a woman caught in adultery, and when they had set her in the midst, they said to him, Teacher, this woman was caught in adultery in the very act. Now Moses in the law commanded us that such should be stoned, but what do you say? This they said, testing him, that they might have something of which to accuse him. But Jesus stooped down and wrote on the ground with his finger, as though he did not hear. So when they continued asking him, he raised himself up and said to them, He who is without sin among you, let him throw a stone at her first. And again he stooped down and wrote on the ground. Then those who heard it, being convicted by their conscience, went out one by one, beginning with the oldest even to the last, and Jesus was left alone, and the woman standing in the midst. When Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, Woman, where are those accusers of yours? Has no one commended you? She said, No one, Lord. And Jesus said to her, Neither do I condemn you. Go and sin no more. Now we'll be reading verses 31 to 36. Then Jesus said to those Jews who believed him, If you abide in my word, you are my disciples indeed. And you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. They answered him, We are Abraham's descendants, and have never been in bondage to anyone. How can you say you will be made free? Jesus answered them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Whoever commits sin is a slave of sin. And a slave of sin and a slave does not abide in the house forever, but a son abides forever. 36 and last. Therefore, if the son makes you, makes you free, you shall be free indeed. Here ended the reading of God's holy word. We honor it by saying amen.